Good morning, everyone. Everybody hear me? Good? Okay. Good morning. <laughs> so my name is Scotia Goulet, and this is my three-minute testimony. Um, I grew up in a Christian home, so Jesus was no stranger to me as a kid. Because of my mom's workplace, I was always surrounded by God's work in the lives of struggling teens. I witnessed other people's lives change drastically and become brand new in Christ. However, something in me felt a bit hollow. I was told that every person has at least one major moment with God, and I hadn't had one. I thought that maybe there was something wrong with me, and I felt bad for not experiencing God personally. At that point, it felt more like I followed somebody else's God than my own. Time went by, and grade seven was like a personal attack. Um, I was finally exposed to opposing voices telling me God's not real, and I'm a fool for believing it. Here I was trying to defend him, and yet it felt like I didn't know him. I was so disconnected that church and prayer was a routine instead of a passion. So I thought, maybe I didn't get to have a special moment with our Heavenly Father. I started looking to my friends for everything, and I ignored my family because they would just remind me of who I was avoiding. My dependency on those friends failed, of course, and I never felt more alone. That hole inside me grew bigger and I didn't know what to do with myself. So I became depressed, and I isolated myself from everybody. I felt no purpose in my life, and I debated ending it. This one trip, however, I went to in my youth group, changed that hopelessness I had manifested over time. I was in grade nine, and we were off to a Christian band concert. As I stood in that massive crowd of people, I totally felt out of place. These people would surely know that I wasn't one of them. God would surely know. But then the atmosphere switched. I can't quite explain it. Uh, one minute it was awkward swaying to music. The next I had my friend praying in my ear over the loud worship music playing. Something came over me like a wave of warmth. I remember welling up in tears and feeling so much weight being lifted off of me. Then as the band grew quiet, everyone in the audience began to sing like a choir. So now I'd finally had a moment with God, and I felt so much joy. I didn't feel like an outsider anymore. This encounter with Christ left me with hope, a hope that said to me, you have purpose, and you are not alone. I'd seen him as a stranger for so long, but he had always known me. It says in Psalm 139, verse 13, that he created my inmost being. He knit me together in my mother's womb. So I left that concert with a new relationship with my God. The struggle didn't end there, of course, but now I have personal proof that he's closer than we think. I've never felt lonely after that, because I know God did not and will not abandon me. That special encounter did not measure my importance to him. It never did. It was a tool to bring me close to him, and it was all in his perfect timing. That hole I talked about before, it, it was filled with Christ's reassurance that we have meaning in him. We aren't just random people in a massive crowd. We are fearfully and wonderfully made in his eyes. I now have peace knowing that God knows me and nothing can separate us. I can say with confidence that I have purpose when I live in his name. So what I want to leave you with is the push to reach out to him. Ask God to meet you halfway because he's already waiting for you at that half point. Thank you.